I'm doing a recording, my first, very first recording on the Insta 360 One X2. My first time using it. I don't know how it's going to work. This I'm um, using the um, selfie stick on two steps. So two extension. I can actually go further. The stick is actually a little bit heavy. You're gonna carry on the one, the other end. It's actually quite tiring to hold the, you know, the entire camera to keep running, especially yeah, doing long distance. Well, I guess you are featuring a um, an area with about five, ten minutes of shot each without having, you know, do it continuously. Probably that will not be so tiring at the end. Again, you can just switch hand around. Right now, I'm using my left hand. And because from what I can see here, the camera looks a little bit shaky. So I'm not too sure how the um, stabilizer actually works. I heard it's actually quite stabilized. And I'm actually speaking a little bit loud because of the traffic over here. It's, um, it's a big hour. So uh, lots of uh, traffic around me. So I'm not too sure how the audio is going to turn out to be like. <laughs> and um, from what I read is there's actually four different microphones on the camera itself. One at the front, right, which is facing where I'm running now. One at the back, which is the selfie mode. And of course at the side, left and right. And I read about it and you can actually turn off and on and do some audio enhancement on the uh, post production on the Insta360 apps on the desktop or maybe on the mobile not so sure you exploring and yes okay I'm gonna uh, be running towards the uh, my usual route okay the uh, Lumpini Park and overall, I believe there will be more things to see over there. Okay, just going to be trying a couple of options. Okay, and uh, in terms of the length of the selfie stick. And obviously, I mean, of course, if the stick extends longer, it will be more tiring for me to carry because yeah, the weight eventually holds all the way to the teeth unless I pull up a little bit nearer, not too far on the edge Alright, I am at actually at this uh, Lumpini Park and uh, resuming my recording the um, selfie stick on the full extension mode okay please it don't looks really long over here all right i mean not too far but actually the camera is about 45 degrees slanted i can't like you know the gopro that i use i have to actually face the you know the camera towards me so basically the camera is actually facing the sky right now so i do not know how is the result it's going to come out to be light and so yeah um, the screen actually goes into a sleep mode when it is not in use so it will go to sleep after a couple of seconds and uh, I believe there is a setting that you can actually do and change it and uh, when the camera is not in use as there's no activities basically I think you will actually power down 
and you will need to actually power up again all right so you should be able to see i'm actually on the uh, 360 shooting mode this is basically there are two different modes oh. okay the 150 because there's two cameras one at the front and one at the back and uh, they actually they use the software to combine these two cameras to give you a 360 feel okay so recording on two cameras will actually double the storage space okay example right now i'm using a uh, 64 gigabit sd card which gives me a recording time of about an hour 10 minutes okay if i were to just use one camera right either on the front or on the back on the 150 degree angle okay basically it gives me a recording time of about three hour plus okay we have a resolution of a 3k and 100 frames per second so right now it's on the uh, fully extended mode okay from some of the review video that i saw it actually looks really really far because of the super wide angle the coverage okay so let's like, I'm gonna move my camera around okay i don't know just have this very subconscious feeling that i have to you know like bend my wrist up just that the camera can actually face out so just put it here Let's go to the back. So the park is pretty quiet right now and we'll be doing the National Anthem. Okay, let's keep running. Let's set a couple of angles right now. So I'm just going to be holding on my left hand, flat, parallel. Okay, just hope that the, uh, the camera actually captured. So it's on a 45 degree angle. It's over here. Okay, not sure if you'll be able to see my stake. I doubt so, it will. Okay, so just now I'm right in the middle of my waist level, which is very much having the lens facing the sky. So in fact, having this um, camera, you don't really have to worry too much about the position of the lens. Where is it pointing? Because eventually you should be, you will be able to use the apps to edit the video. 
and um, you can actually change the angle accordingly to wide or narrow and there's even auto tracking you just don't know how it works you just have to try it and the first time I'm using it and yeah like I say again I'm using the uh, pole on the uh, fully extended mode and if you were to hold the stick towards the end all right and put it in the very you know a 45 degree angle it's actually quite tiring for the wrist as I mentioned earlier the selfie stick is actually quite heavy okay surprisingly so maybe I can just like you know just put it like this and I should take a video right I'm not too sure now I'm in, actually in the flat manner okay so if I were to hold the stick like this well it's still not so bad but can be pretty tiring and going on to this Okay, just going to shorten the stick one more and see how's the effect. So it's basically one, two, three, four. Four extension right now. So for a full extension, that's five. Without extension, obviously, I mean, it's just one. I'm also guessing I think mean, the full extension probably is about a meter. Okay, so with the full extension. Okay, I'm just going to go on full extension and place it right above my head like this probably yeah it's actually less tiring to carry this way because I basically have the pole and the stick vertically upright just basically resting you know I don't really have to put too much force to control the stick so let's see it should give you a very good 360 overview all right of the camera itself but not too sure you can see me as apparently the stick that is near me is supposed to be invisible so i'm not too sure how they can actually make this stick invisible and make me visible when i'm actually next to it
as I say again, the uh, microphones are located at the front, at the back, and at both sides of the camera. So there's a, basically, there's no microphone at the bottom of the camera where I'm speaking right now. So I guess my voice quality will be a little bit different as compared to having the camera in front or behind me. Okay, I'm at four steps. Still in the same position with the camera above me, vertical. Okay, so now I'm actually holding the um, camera on the upside down position with my recording just started and let's see how it goes. I'm just on with the um, green now. Okay, as I've mentioned again, this um, camera, okay, there's no microphone right below the camera. So since I'm actually holding upside down, there's no actually there's no microphone actually facing towards me. So I'm not too sure how the uh, audio is gonna be. Pick up. I'm actually crossing a bridge with moderate traffic. Okay, and uh, the pickup should be should be fine. Alright, but not too sure. But let's see how we can do the uh, post-production editing using the Insta 360S. Okay, I'm just going to be running along the uh, green now on the uh, upside down position. Okay, so I'm just going to be following it like this. Right below me, just beside my feet. It's actually quite comfortable to be holding in this direction. You just basically just need to grip firmly okay with the uh, camera on the upside down position pointing forward with the screen or the touch screen behind me but as I was using the um, okay now I'm going to flip up okay so I'm not too sure whether will it flip by itself okay I'm just going to reduce the the length of the stick to three steps okay which I think will be much easier for me to carry okay where was I just now I can't remember <laughs> what I was supposed to be <laughs> so I was on the upside down position and I'll flip it up and I'm not too sure whether it, whether we auto flip it back up. It might have the function. Okay, so okay, so now I'm actually facing the front towards me. I'm supposed to be facing the front <laughs> back there. Yep, okay. So I was saying that yeah, most of the time you want the you know the 
touch screen to be facing us you know in the event if you want to make any changes to the settings you know to flip the video or even you know just to have a preview of what is actually going on or whether the um, video is actually recording so when they are actually recording there is a red color blinking light to indicate that the recording is in progress so since it is a uh, 360 camera it really doesn't matter you know if you are facing the front towards yourself or facing towards the direction that I'm actually running you know during the recording it really really doesn't matter all right because as what I have read and watch is that during the um, production post production okay using the insta 360 app you can choose how you want your video to be all right you can actually edit them you can actually edit and i mean it's like pointing at me throughout or pointing the front throughout or front and back in between by adding some highlights or and uh, or you can actually have the 360 view okay which makes the video looks like a globe you're actually running on the globe which is pretty amazing why well, it's distorted but it's quite nice actually okay since we are the green mouse i think i might as well you know make a full extension of this and have a look Over here, just have to make sure that things are okay. Don't hit cameras on the tree. long stretch over here so yeah on the 45 degree holding it should be able to see a good 
overview of this long stretch. Oh, interestingly, I don't know what actually triggers the recording to stop by itself as I was talking earlier. Okay, so I'm probably about 8km into my run with about 3 more km to completion. So, getting into uh, Chemin Jakiti Park where the Green Mile connects between these two parts which I've actually ran in my previous video if you have seen Okay, we are out to the track.
my god. Yeah. When this stretch, I was gonna over hit cameras above me with the pole fully extended right above. You should be able to see a round 360 degree view. run and uh, in fact I've been holding almost an hour onto the uh, selfie stick and I was mentioned earlier the stick is actually a little bit heavy okay and you want to grip it at the end of the stick and have it fully extended it's actually quite tiring on the wrist all right unless of course you are actually putting the camera right ahead above you yeah, but you're just actually holding it all right so if the stick have a better grip or there's something that you can actually you know hold on to it or even the spongy but then spongy because of the sweat all right it might not be a good idea or something that is nice to grip so you don't actually hold it too tight okay i've raced against human i've raced against bicycle i've raced against bike so what am i going to be racing against next 